Hello everyone. Here I will be giving some tips for beginners in modeling their geometry or structures. So let me start by clicking the icon, Stad Pro icon, double click. So it will show the project task, the recent files, license configuration, and the help topics. Let me choose the new project for our, project, our task. So a dialog box will appear here. We have to choose either a truss, a floor, a plane, or a space. Now since I will be modeling a three-dimensional structure or frame structure, I will choose the space and then the file name, say three-story building. Story building. Typical. Then choose your location. Just click OK. Then the length units in meter, force units in kilonewton. Then just click Next. Where do you want to go? So there are choices. Adding beam, adding plate, adding solid, open structure wizard, by stud editor, and then of course the job information is here. For me, it's easier with the open structure wizard. Let me choose this one and then click finish. So the structure wizard is in our graphical user interface now. We could choose the model type, either the truss models, it is shown here, the frame models, surface or plate models, solid models, composite, import, and VBA macro models. So let me choose the frame models. So among the frame models, I chose the bay frame. So let us explore here. So the total length of my structure is 30 meters. Its total height is 8.8 .8 meters. And its total width is 12.5 meters. Number of bays along the length, say if each bay is 6 meters, then let me have it 5 number of bays along the height so I, we are having three stories so height so three bays and number of bays along the width so let it be four number of bays so if you want to change or edit or reset the following dimensions you can click this box double click the number of lens, 6 meters each, so I have no changes, I'll just click OK. Number of bays along height, double click. So Stad Pro, the height is 8.8, .8. Stad Pro will automatically divide it into 3. But I need to change this one. Say in first floor, 3.2 meters, it's height. The second floor, 2.8. And then the third floor, 2.8. 
and then just click OK. For the number of ways along the width, it's the same thing. For its width, so you chose 4. So if you don't have any changes, Start Pro will automatically divide it into 4. 4 number of base. But I need to change this one. This will be 4.5. Oh. And then 4.5. And then the third bay is 2.5. And then the last bay will be 1. And then just click OK. So let us see. We could choose it if we apply. Let's see our work. Just scroll it. Scroll your mouse. Okay. So this will be your structure. How your structure will look. Double click. Okay, so let us check the parameters. The length of my structure is 30 meters. It means that I have five number of bays, so six meters each. You could see this one. Okay. And then number of bays along height. So this is my height. Uh, here this is 3.2 2.8 2 .8. and then number of bays along width so this is my length this is my width I'll just check so the first bay is 4.5 the second bay is 4.5 the third bay is 2.5 and the last bay is 1 meter. Right. Again, if you want to change something, just click Reset. For now, it's OK. And then Apply. So we have here our structure. And then from this dialog box, go to File. Click Merge Model with Start Pro Model. Would you like to transfer merge this prototype into Start Pro? Just click Yes. So showing the X, Y, and Z values. So our origin is 0, 0, 0. Just click OK. So there you are. Now I will just be giving you tips on how in exploring this geometry before you assign the the sections, assigning the loads. You have to be familiar with the following views. Okay, here. Click view from positive Z. See what your structure looks like from negative Z, from negative X, from positive X, from positive Y, negative y and then we go back to the isometric view as we click these views the following views okay our reference is also changing we go back to the isometric view now in assigning its member properties or sections it is difficult to be your structure to be like this okay so you have to do it step by step. Say we want to assign the sections for the beams only. So we need only the beams to be shown here. And these views are very important. Say for example, the view from positive Z. So we will select here only the beams and girders. By pressing your control key, okay, select. Do not release your control key until such time that you've had finished selecting the members. Okay. Still control key pressing. After it's done, 
release your control key and now you can see from the isometric view click isometric view so all the beams girders are shown now right click of your mouse click new view so a new view display the view in the active window then just click ok so there so only the beams are shown positive Z negative Z negative X positive X positive Y negative Y and then your isometric view so whichever is comfortable for you from positive Y so if you have already this uh, view so you could easily assign your sections from the following members okay? without the distractions of our say for example you want to choose this we will be assigning properties here okay so only those members will be assigned with its sections that you wanted to okay so it is easier so you cannot see the columns which is so destructive destructive in your eyes distractions i mean okay so there i'm choosing view just explore these views and then if you want to go back okay isometric view if you want to go back to the original structure just click the display whole structure click from the icons here so there you are now if you want the columns if we want to assign members in the columns or sections in our columns click okay i'm clicking now i'm choosing now view from positive z now for the columns don't close your eyes take a look at here if i'm going to choose the columns of course when we say columns it is on the positive on the y-axis again we have to press our control key if you choose this if you choose it this way okay we select we see what it happens what happens when we choose it this way okay then release control key and then go to isometric view Okay, so now you see that some beams are also selected. Okay, some beams are also selected here. So what if you are assigning the loads and what if you are assigning the properties? What if you are assigning the sections? So it will also be assigned to the following beams. So, let me have it this way. So, you do it better this way. Again, view from positive Z. So, you just be careful. If you select any member, you have to look at the following views. Before you assign loadings, before you assign its member properties, its sections, Okay, view from positive, say, again, press your control key. I choose it this way, horizontally, the columns. Release your control key. And then, look at the isometric view. Okay. So, it's better this way. So you are now sure that only the columns 
will be assigned for the following properties. Or if you want, again, right click, new view, display the view in the active window, and then just click OK. then you can assign members or its properties or its sections. Again, isometric view. Okay. After assigning the loads, after assigning the properties, then if you want, you can go back again to the whole structure. So this icon, display the whole structure. Just click. Okay. Click outside. Of course, you could also explore, rotate up, rotate down, whichever view is comfortable in your eyes. Rotate left, rotate right. Okay, there. So you just keep on exploring Staad. Thank you. Until next.